the rut. It's this magical time of year that all bow hunters wait for all season long. My favorite time of the year. Unfortunately though, like my season has been, I was going to have very limited time to actually hunt. Actually, I would only have two days. The 8th and 9th of November. So, going into it, I knew it was going to be a little bit more difficult than prior years where I would have two weeks to get it done. And I think that might have put a little bit extra pressure on me. But anyway, going in to November 8th morning hunt, I was hunting a new spot uh, that me and my brother had hung literally the evening before. Going in this spot was basically completely blind. Going in to that spot to hang the tree stand, we actually found some very big rubs and there was a few scrapes along the Fuller Trail. So I was pretty excited going into it, but I didn't know what was quite going to happen to me on November 8th morning. God, guys, if my back don't get better, there won't be a November 8th evening. <laughs> As you can tell in the video, uh, my back was just hurting me very bad. I was in extreme pain, and I actually packed up the car on November 8th to go home. And I actually was in the car on the way home when then at the last minute I decided, you know what, my back's gonna hurt just the same at home as it is here, uh, and it's the rut, man. So I turned around and climbed back up in a tree on November 8th evening hunt. But unfortunately for me, I would go into the November 8th evening hunt and uh, would get rained out not too long afterwards. All right, well, that's gonna do it, guys. For November 8th I got rained out I don't know if you can hear it or not but uh, I see one little deer way too far away it started raining and I'm not gonna risk my electronics so only thing I can do is cross my fingers hope this rain stops by the morning and get up and keep on going See you guys in the morning. But luckily, you know, with this rain, it was bringing cooler weather. So I was pretty excited going into November 9th, still in a lot of pain from my back. I ended up going back to where I hunted at on November 8th evening hunt and uh, had a pretty amazing morning. Welcome to November 9th. I've already had a little bug or a bug. I don't really know how big or small he was, but I'm down off the hill next to me. Went out the other way. I tried calling a little bit, but 
I never seen where he went. I'm hoping with this pressure, with the rain, it rained all night. Hopefully, you know, bugs are obviously up on their feet. We got scrapes surrounding us. Maybe they'll come in and refresh these scrapes. I don't know. Okay. Let's hang in here and see how this morning plays out. the second buck today that did the exact same freaking thing. Just not enough shooting lanes. They come out right there and walk down. There's not a single freaking shooting lane. So there you have it. Uh, unfortunately, I was not able to capitalize on any of my opportunities due to little mistakes. Uh, mistakes that, trust me, are no longer going to be happening but overall I had a blast uh, I, I was very fortunate for only being able to hunt for two days having three shooters that I consider shooters within bow range unfortunately though the video suffered a little bit and I want to apologize to you guys for that I'd have liked to got a lot better video for you so there you have it uh, I wish that I could sit here and show you this amazing rut video and everything else, but that's not what the Diary of Hunt's all about. The Diary of Hunt is all about showing you guys the truth and exactly what happened without any fancy editing. And trust me, uh, this video could have used some fancy editing. As you can tell, I got pretty, I got pretty upset with myself, and uh, I've calmed down a lot since then. And was able to look back on this and, and honestly be grateful for the chances that I had and uh, and learn from the mistakes that I made and that's that's where I'm at right now uh, waiting on gun season to be over here in Ohio so I can get back onto the public ground um, the chapter ain't shut on my private land adventure either uh, I will be getting back out there just as soon as possible and uh, them shooting lanes are now cut for anybody that was wondering. But again, I want to thank you guys for watching our videos. I'm Josh Hammonds from Hambros Outdoors, and we'll see you guys in the next video.